days maybe a week since I put in the cupid's arrow powder stuff and not much happened apart from the water went luminous green I don't know if that's to do with the powder or just the algae build up but I have just noticed we have a breeding pair now if I can get them clearly on camera I will they are moving really really quick around this tank but they are certainly breeding I haven't seen any more so so far just one pair but you know that's cool i don't know if that's to do with the powder or that's just nature the cynic in me says it's probably just nature nothing to do with the powder but um yeah got another brain pair oh my god guys there's a baby sea monkey okay first of all that's a gnat that has drowned <laughs> but that's a baby sea monkey oh my goodness i don't know if that came with the adults But it's tiny. There's a male. But yeah, I um I seen one of the sea monkeys breeding as you just saw. And <laughs> now I'm looking in here. Obviously it's luminous green. I'm like seriously looking at it like what is going on in here? But no, we have a baby. Okay, I'm not being funny, this looks gross. It's literally luminous yellowy green. However, the sea monkeys actually seem to be doing really well in it. And the breeding pair are still breeding. They are going around the tank somewhere, still attached to each other. Ah, they're at the bottom, let's see. There they are. Still attached. They actually look like they've molted since they've, all the sea monkeys have gone white. I've just spotted another breeding pair. There's now two. There's the other pair. Now, I was a bit cynical at first. I didn't think the cupid's powder would do much. However, considering we don't have that many individuals and I can see two different pairs breeding, that's pretty good going. So, it's a little while later. Still got two breeding pairs. I've also seen two babies. So there could easily be more. Now it's hard to see, but these are actually like white. White and a green background. Like the water's luminous, the sea monkeys are white. And a while back someone did suggest that I should rename this the shrimp swamp. And it seriously does look like a swamp right now. Um, I don't know whether to change anything because the numbers of those dying has definitely sort of stopped a bit now like we have a few individuals certainly not as many as we started with we probably have 10 to 15 individuals but they seem to be doing okay so i might put in some the red vitamin powder that i got for them uh see if that does anything but yeah they're just they're just white but they seem to be doing really well so here's the magic sea monkey vitamins. You should really measure this out with a little spoon, but I'm just gonna tip a tiny bit in. So that's some of the powder. It's just mixed with the water and it's actually turned red. There's another tiny little baby. I wouldn't have seen that without this lens. There's a tiny one. So, I mean, oh, there's a breeding pair. There they are. Um, so yeah, there's still life in this old tank, even though it looks a complete mess, but it's pretty cool.
Okay guys, this is literally maybe an hour after I just filmed the last. A new pair have attached to each other. We now have three breeding pairs. I have to say, I was extremely um, quick to judge with the Cupid powder because I did put that in like, must have been last week. And uh, or at least like five days and nothing happened. All of a sudden, we have three breeding pairs and they seem to be doing fantastic. So right now, I am a fan of the Cupid powder. Thank you.